Hello everyone, today I would like to show you an extension that you absolutely must use if you're using YouTube on a daily basis, in my honest opinion. This add-on was simply built to make your life easier, just like I do everything on this channel. But also, I don't want to give you a reminder immediately. If you're looking for something to make your life easier, check out my channel and see what you can find. That's what my channel is mainly based on. Straight to the point, most of the time, solving life's issues and a bunch of other issues, that's it. Anyhow, let me show you the extension. It's called Enhancer for YouTube. You see Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera. This is how it looks like in the Chrome store. So what does the extension exactly do? Well, once you install it, you will see that the tab at the bottom of the window, your browser, is going to appear right above the taskbar and you'll have eight icons. So let me go through them and show you some really interesting features. You can browse through this extension yourself and find out what exactly. So first things first, the button we have is says remove ads. Every time you open somebody's video, you can click this button and it's gonna remove all of the advertisement from the video and nothing's going to bother you. Even if the advertisement starts playing, you can click this button and it's gonna stop the advertisement, instantly stops it and you continue watching your video. Again, why is this phenomenal? Well, if you use something like uBlock Origin or any ad block application, it's gonna block all advertisements out of default automatically. Right here you have a choice if you open up somebody's video. Let's say there's a creator you want to support. You don't want to block his ads, so you don't click this button. Ads will show up. You watch somebody else's video, you block the ads. Of course, there is an option that says automatically remove ads and you can just click that in the settings. Moving on, we have cinema mode. If you click that, you'll see how the player enlarges and yeah, you just click away if you want this to close. Also, you can press escape button as well. So next we have resize player button, which as you can see, YouTube doesn't let you do it like this. This is how YouTube is. But if you resize player, it gets a little bigger. Next button, detach player. Look at this. You detach this in a separate window for whatever reason you want. Phenomenal. Moving on, we have a boost volume self-explanatory loop video. Okay, but check this out. Next button we have is speed. You can actually increase and decrease speed by moving your mouse wheel. And you can go, I don't know, what is, let's see how much can we go. We can go times. Let, let me just play it. Wait, listen. Look that. I'm going to slow it down slowly. There we go, now we're back. We can even go lower, look at this. This would have been better if I showed you on the video, but I think you get the point. You can change the speeds way above and beyond the default speeds that YouTube offers you. Next, let's click on the options button and let's see what we have. Bunch of uh, stylizations. One possible useful option is slide up and down effect, which essentially means that this thing just hides automatically. Hides. I, I ate the H literally like a second ago. Okay, moving on. Moving on, we have cinema mode that we can adjust. So there's something, some stuff here you can look at. Video player. There's a default volume, which is awesome with YouTube. So at the moment, as you can see, it's set to 50% with my video. So every time I open a new video, you'll see instantly it's set to 50%. For whatever reason, you want this to be set somewhere in the average volume area, and then you can adjust it if you want to. Phenomenal. I am reali I realize I'm sounding like Trump right now. You have a bunch of automatic options here. Automatically enable this, automatically. Just take a look at them. Most of them, really easy, self-explanatory. Couple of things that I love here is, let's say I have this video, and I'm gonna play it. And let's say I open an another, another video in a new tab. Check what happens out. Once that video starts playing, the previous video, let me go back, you'll see it's actually paused because this option is enabled. Automatically pause video opened in background tabs. Also pause video playing in the background tabs when a video starts playing in a foreground tab. I think they are self-explanatory, but you can see it simply stops the video so they don't overlap. Moving on, one thing that YouTube never allowed us since its existence is automatically set the preferred video quality. Well, YouTube does have like an option, but not really customizable like here. We have four choices and you'll notice that the first choice I have set is 480p. So check this out. This video is not playing on auto 480p. It's only, it's actually set to 480p. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen if I open another video. So here's what happened. You'll see it set quality is set to auto and then 480p it says right here, see? But if I turn this on, it sets it actually to 480p. So I can actually change 
my preferred quality, the second choice, the third choice. If I change it, I can even go, I don't know, 240p and you'll see the video is automatically reloading in 240p quality. From that point on, any future video that I open will be in 240p quality. This simply makes the videos load faster, but again, saves you bandwidth for whatever reason you want. It's there, the option, and I love it. There's also some other miscellaneous stuff you can go through. We have also themes, custom scripts, who knows what's out there. You have keyboard shortcuts and whatnot, backups and all that stuff. So in my honest opinion, this extension is something that I simply cannot live without if I'm using YouTube. Simply because, first and foremost, YouTube lacks so many options that are clearly easy to implement. But hey, at least we can use the extension and get around it. So there is a way there is an option somehow so that's at least what i like who knows why youtube doesn't have these options it seems like they are more interested in getting the money from advertisers than instead of actually pushing and creating a better product actually nowadays most companies do that now that i think of it bugs are fixed very late issues are not fixed and uh, features are not added the feature especially the features that would make sense and this is probably the point where i translate into advertising my channel that where i do show you stuff that makes sense and i share the information with you guys so uh subscribe comment down below share the video and consider liking or even if you dislike the video it's still fine it's gonna give me feedback but yeah consider doing those things and thanks so much for tuning into this i'll see you guys in uh, future videos where we take on and solve more bullshit that the world has to offer but up until then stay good and i'll catch you very soon Pretty stuff. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track.